Hi guys, welcome back to my channel 32 Happy Teeth. Today we are not going to study any specific topic. Instead, we will be learning something very important. That is how to crack neat MDS in 9 months. Yes, you heard it right. 9 months is all you need to grab that government seat you have been dreaming of. Strategy is what you need to clear neat MDS. First and foremost, you have to let go of your negative thoughts and fear. Only focus on your goal. Don't ever think that only these many seats are available in the government sector. Don't bother about the less number of seats. You only need one seat and you have to focus on that single MDS seat only. In this video, I'll be discussing the timetable, what books to read and how to read those books in these 9 months to crack your NEAT MDS entrance test which is going to be held in the month of December this year. First, we'll be going through the strategy. Suppose you are starting a preparation from 15th March 2021. Then you will be having around 9 months to crack NEAT MDS. What you need to do is to map your strategy. For example, on a notebook, write down your weakest subject on the top and the strongest at the bottom. In this way, you would be able to focus on strengthening your weak subjects. Suppose the NEAT MDS entrance test is on 15 2021. In that case, complete your first reading till 15th August. You will have 5 months for the first reading. Study thoroughly. Don't waste your time on the subjects which you already have a grip on. Invest your time very wisely. Start your second reading from mid-August and finish it off by mid-October. Two months are enough for your second reading. Now move on to the third reading. For the third reading, you have to very quickly but efficiently revise all the topics which you have already studied previously during your first and second reading and finish it off by 10th of December. You will have then at least 5 to 7 days left before NEAT MDS test. I understand that it is not very easy to follow everything on your schedule. But what I am advising you to at least try your best and complete around 70 to 80 percent of the syllabus as your schedule. Now go through the leftover topics after you are done with these three readings. Now coming to the most important question of every NEAT MDS aspirants, which books to follow? So listen to me guys, you should have one basic book and the rest will be your supplements. What I mean by this is that either Dental Pulse or Dentist can be your main book and Neeraj Wadwan or Ames 25 and there are many similar books that can be your supplement. Most of the students prefer Dental Pulse and I would recommend you also prefer Dental Pulse as it is more convenient and more elaborate to start with. Once you are through Dental Pulse, move on to the Dentist and when you are done with Dentist, then move forward to the Neeraj Wadwan. Similarly, go through all the similar books. It is very necessary to develop a habit to solve MCQs every single day. Yes, you heard me right guys. Every single day. No matter where you are or what you are doing, you have to solve MCQs even if it is only 5 in number. I personally conduct neat MDS oriented quiz on my telegram group every weekend. The link is in the description box. Make sure to check it out guys and do subscribe to my channel and go and join my telegram group. Ab ye sab to ho gaya. Now let's discuss the process that is how to study. What I would suggest is to focus on your MCQ books that is Dental Pulse or Dentist whatever you choose and if you get stuck somewhere then refer to the standard books because retrograde studying is what you require to clear your NEAT MDS test. Go very well through the synopsis and then move to the MCQs. Don't leave the solution section. There are many important points in there. Never skip the solution section and mark all the questions which you were not able to solve in the first attempt. Revise it again and again as you go through the synopsis and as you go through your second and third reading. So guys, I have tried to include all the essential and effective points to help you in your ordeal. Don't climb two stairs at once. Take baby steps and keep moving forwards towards your goal. So stand up, grab your pulse or your dentist and start reading now. Make a habit of solving MCQs on a regular basis. Join any test series which you like. 
just keep on revising again and again it doesn't matter whether you are thorough with all the syllabus you need to have a grab you need to have a command on at least 70 to 80 percent to get that dream college of yours so if you have any doubts regarding this strategy of mine so feel free to comment in the comment section and you can also ask me any of your queries on my instagram channel or on my telegram group uh, wherever you like the link will be in the description box till then work hard dream big bye bye